Amen. 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 Thank God for being here. Amen. This Sunday. Amen. Amen. It's good to see y'all. Amen. Amen. Good to be seen. Amen. Yes. Push your way. Amen. 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 The book of Second Timothy. Don't take the time and just do some teaching and then give me what the Lord had given me. Second Timothy, mm -hmm. the fourth chapter. Something that is actually needed in this last and evil day. Amen. Second Timothy, the fourth chapter, and maybe I will read from verses one to five. Amen. 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 Use for thought today, preaching sound doctrine. Every chance you get. I got to say it like a fit. Preaching Come on. sound doctrine. Yes, Come Lord. on. Every chance you get. Now you will understand why I'm saying it like that. All right, all right. Amen. Because it makes you already see that some folks just ain't doing it. Come on. Either they were doing it or they stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it's the same thing. Every believer that is a one that has decided to follow Jesus and, and let Jesus come to be, amen, their salvation, they got to be to a place, amen, to give people sound instruction. Amen. 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 If you say you love the Lord and you got the Lord in your life, you got to be in a place to be ready to give an answer for everyone that asks of the hope of Christ that is within you. That's right. That just simply means you don't push it down folks folks for nothing. It just telling you always be ready. Amen. For the opportunity to tell someone about Jesus. Yes. When he opened that door and give you a chance to talk Jesus, mm -hmm. talk Jesus. That's right. You don't have to push it down nobody's throat or anything. Amen. Now I say it like that because most people like to engage in conversation. Mm -hmm. They talk about something and everything. Mm -hmm. So you got to always be on your guard. When you get a chance to tell somebody about Christ, tell them. Amen. Tell them what the Lord has done for you. No more than what he done. If you know he saved your soul, tell them that. All right. It ain't so much how much you tell a person. Mm -hmm. It's just what you tell a person, what the Lord has done for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You don't know the whole Bible when you first get saved. Amen. Or come to the Lord. But you do know that you have given your life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you know now that you are saved. Amen. Amen. Not only that, he it is now as being a pastor. You got evangelists, you got apostles, you got teachers, amen. We always got to stay in a place to be ready mm -hmm. to give sound talk. Amen. Every chance we get. Now you gonna understand why the Lord is giving it to me this way, because the simple fact is that people are not being too sound when it comes to the word of God anymore. Mm -hmm. It seems as though that anything can come to church and anything can go in the church now. My God. They're trying to get people saved in in every kind of way they can, but besides the Spirit of God getting in and saving them. Mm -hmm. Amen. First Tim, I mean second Timothy the fourth chapter in the fourth chapter. Look what the reading is saying there. Mm -hmm. Before I go to the first verse, let me say to you, this is the time that the Apostle Paul had come to the place that God had given him a word. Mm -hmm. In other words, God has spoken to him and shown him things that was in the future, even until this time, until the time that we're living in now. And Paul was to the place that he fell in love, amen, with one of his students, which was tempted. Amen. 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 Timothy was one that was taught the word of God through his mother and his grandmother. Mm -hmm. Some kind of way, Timothy ran, amen, into Paul, and Paul ran into Timothy. Mm -hmm. Some kind of way, they took a light into one another. Mm -hmm. Paul realized that this young man, this young student, had been taught the word of God. Because the Bible said, try every spirit by the spirit to see whether it be of God. 
Amen. So then this young man, which was Timothy, was brought up in the nursing of the word of God through his mother and through, amen, his grandmother. Mm -hmm. amen. And Paul took a liking, amen, to him. And here now, everywhere that Paul, amen, could go, amen, Timothy spent time, amen, listening at the word and the spirit of God through the apostle Paul. Amen. It tells us now here on this journey that Timothy became, amen, from an elder, amen, from being, amen, a pastor, amen, over churches. Amen. But this time it tells us that it relates to the time that the apostle Paul, amen, was put in jail. Mm -hmm. It said that behind closed bar, behind jail bar, it prayed that the Lord, prayed the Lord has spoke to the apostle Paul. Here he decided, he said, let me, amen, go and send this letter, amen, to the house, amen, of my son, Timothy. Amen. He took a liking to Timothy. He knew that he was a young pastor. And look at the words now here in the fourth chapter, how that the Lord dealt with Paul to send this letter, amen, to Timothy. Look what it says. Paul said, I charge thee therefore before God. He talking, amen, now to his son Timothy. Mm -hmm. This is a charge, Timothy, that I'm forewarning you. I'm giving you because you are a young pastor in the Lord. Mm -hmm. But now here, I'm behind these jail bars. I'm behind here in prison. The Lord, amen, is giving me a word, amen. Mm -hmm. I decided, amen, to send this letter to you. Amen. Amen. I charge thee therefore before God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall, not maybe, but who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearance and his kingdom. All right. Amen. Stay with me, Saint. Mm -hmm. You will get to the point to understand why you got to always be ready. Amen. To preach sound doctrine. Amen. Every chance you get. Here he charged Timothy. This is something that you need to remember, Timothy. This is something that you need to do. Praise the Lord at all times. Every time you get a chance. And that is to be sound in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Look what he tells him going to do. <clears throat> Preach the word. Mm -hmm. Some folks think that preaching is different because they say Jesus. Mm -hmm. But well, they're more to it than just saying Jesus. Come on. Amen. You got to give instruction. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to give do's and don'ts. Amen. When it comes to preaching the word of God. Amen. And that's when folks get offended, get mad, get upset. Before now, when you look at the church now, folks go to what? The church of their choice. Mm -hmm. They big churches they go to. It ain't so much they in a church where they're preaching sound doctrine. They pick churches to go to that got friends and got relatives, churches that they were brought up into. But that does not mean that you are getting sound doctrine because you know people that go there. Amen. Here, God is talking to Amen Paul to Timothy. Look, preach the word, Timothy. Mm -hmm. How can he preach himself? His grandmother and his mother taught him the word. Mm -hmm. And they were sound in what they told him what was right and wrong. Amen. Amen. Preach the word. When should I preach it? In season. Out of season. Say it with confidence. In season. In season. And out of season. Out of season. Because you got folk. That ain't, that ain't the time to say nothing about that. That ain't the time for you to come in here and say this and that. But here, here the Lord is speaking now through Paul to tell, amen, Timothy, that you got to preach this word if they want to hear it, thank God, or if they don't want to hear it. There ain't no certain season that you got to preach the word. You ain't got to just preach it in the fall or in the winter or in the summer or in the spring. But he said, preach the word. Be ready to preach sound doctrine. Amen. In every chance that God give you to preach sound doctrine. Amen, amen. Yes. Some folk got the nerve. This ain't the time to say that. Look, the word of God is right, right by itself. Amen. 
Whether you like what was said or not said, the word of God is right right by itself. It's in season for somebody. Amen. Amen. You'd be surprised if folks sitting right here today, what is it that they really want to hear from the Lord? And what is it that they don't want to hear? They could care less what I'm preaching right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 That's why you still got to preach sound talk. Amen. If they agree with you or don't agree with you, you got to preach sound doctrine when it comes to the Word of God. Amen. They're going to tell you why to. They're going to tell you why you should preach sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. And you got folk teaching and preaching something in and everything. Mm -hmm. Something and everything have now come to be right in the house of God. Amen. They leave the principles of the Word of God. They don't, they don't accept sound doctrine. It come to be a proverb in, the, in their mind now. Mm. It's something distant that they don't even want to hear no more. Not the not. first time you say something sound about preaching sound doctrine, the first thing that folk that don't want to do right, don't want to live right, or don't think it's the right time to say it, the first thing that come in their mind is you condemning somebody. Amen. Amen. You Amen. ain't my God. No, Amen. I swear. Amen. But you still ain't excused. The word of God said preach it in season yes. and out of season. Whether really you want to hear it or don't want to hear it, somebody needs to tell and preach sound doctrine. Yes, amen. amen. Some folks are upset and so mad when it comes to sound doctrine that they funnel and go to other churches where they don't have to hear nothing sound when it comes, amen, to the word of God. I, instead, amen. beloved, they listen to jokes. I tell stories. Amen. I begin to lie behind the pulpit. Amen. I got the folks laughing and gigging. I, but won't teach them. I, amen, sound doctrine. I amen. won't preach sound doctrine. Yes. Uh, but now they're paying uh, yes. like a recreational time uh -huh. uh, on a playground somewhere. My God. Jesus. That's how they do in church. Amen. Don't lose respect when it comes to the, uh, church. Amen. Up in Mount Zion, it's supposed to be holy. holy. Right? Yes. You're supposed to preach the truth. Right? Yes. Be sound in the truth. Right? Yes. Tell folks what's right and wrong. Amen. And then it ain't given no certain season. Mm -hmm. You can always sit back and opinion your, your opinion, your thought process. But here it said the preacher when they want to hear it and when they, they don't want to hear it. Amen. Even after when you finish preaching the, uh, the word of God, after I finish teaching the preaching, folk will still form their opinion about what they said. Amen. 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 So. I ain't here to please you. <laughs> All right. I ain't here to please the Lord. Come on, Amen. Pastor. You might go out the door and say, he, he shouldn't say that. Uh -huh. That's what you might say. Come on. But the Lord ain't told me not to say that. All right. He told me to preach it in season and out of season. Amen. 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 Sometimes people miss their blessings. Some things need to be said and some things don't need to be said. Well, you should make sure you're preaching the word of God. Amen. Paul said, I tend to preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Look what the next one, what did he say do? I want y'all to stay because you're going to find out something that he did say in here. I don't see can't pick it up. Now, he just tell you what you should do. If you call yourself an evangelist, you call yourself an apostle, if you call yourself a pastor or a teacher of the word of God, not only that, if you call yourself covered by the blood of Jesus and you're a child of God, you should always be in a place to be able to give someone instruction when it comes, amen, to Jesus Christ. And you should be sound in what you, amen, are instructing folks. Amen. Yes. After he said the season, how you should do it in season and out of season, he said, reprove. Amen. Mm -hmm. Reprove. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all not say nothing about like that. Y'all not do this and that. But the Bible here, where the Spirit of God is speaking, amen, amen, through Paul to Timothy. He said, Timothy, reprove. Reprove. And Timothy was a young pastor. Amen. Paul already seen in the spirit what was going to happen when it came to the church where that temple was pastoring. Mm -hmm. Paul was for one because folks going to come and sit up in your congregation 
Amen. Go call themselves preachers and apostles and stuff, and they're going to instigate some of any and everything in your church if you let it go on. Amen. Yes, Getting up talking about they're walking in the footsteps of the Lord and mm. they've never been born again. <laughs> My God. Proper tree, playing church. My God. Paul said, watch out for them. I'm forewarning you now. Mm. He said, reprove. What's the next one? Review. No, go along with folk. Uh -uh, That's a season of time you got to rebuke folk. If the devil bold enough to come in your congregation and stand up and say any and everything, somebody ought to be in authority. Amen. To rebuke the devil and put him in his place. That's it. If we don't, it'll instigate mess right in the congregation. Amen. But because of sound doctrine, folks are neglecting the teaching and preaching anything gold in the church. Amen. Then it said what? Exalt. Yeah, that's the time you got to exalt. Push folks home, encourage folks, and let them know they can go through. Let them know that they can make it. No matter of the situation that you're going through and how you're going through, even if you ain't doing what's right, you still should push for to let them know they need to get themselves right with God if they are not right with God. Amen. You still should encourage them to look, you need to prepare yourself for the soon coming king. Amen. You need to work on yourself. You need to evaluate yourself. Uh -huh. You need to look at yourself and see your coming and your going. Make sure you do what Jesus said. Be ye also ready. Amen. For you know not the time that the Son of Man shall appear. And that simply means don't be picking no flower. You I need know. to be working on yourself. Right? Thank you, Messiah. Right? Yeah. You should always evaluate yourself. Right? Yeah. You should always know your walk with the Lord. Right? Yeah. You should always stay to the place. Right? Yeah. If you see yourself right? like you should, right? yeah. that you need to repent right? and come up to the Lord. Amen. Amen. My God, help me, Jesus. Mm. Amen. Mm. Listen up to this how you got to continue to dissolve people. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to people, you got to love them enough and make sure you are in it for soul. Mm -hmm. You are not in it to make merchandise of people, but you love folks enough that you will continue to teach sound doctrine, not right? that you will be repetitious enough right? to continue to warn them right? yeah. and instruct them right? yeah. to make sure you keep yourself right. right? Amen for the soon coming king. Amen. Amen. Some folks that the devil talk about, I ain't doing that no more. You can't do no. You better get yourself together. Yeah. Even if you ain't right, you better get it together. Amen. Every day you wake up, right? every day God give you new mercy. Right? Mm -hmm. The first thing you want to say, thank you. Right? Thank, you thank you, Lord, for this day. Why? Yeah. Right? Because you can still right? get yourself right with the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I want to understand the scripture even more. Amen. Huh? You ain't trying to put folks out of the church. But you still need to be sound in what you teach it and preach it. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord have mercy. What's the name? And talk with what? Oh, oh Lord suffering and doctrine. Don't take down from the doctrine of the word of God. <laughs> we as the people of God ought to speak the same thing, right? right. We ought to mind the same thing, right? That there be no, right? Amen. Division among us, right? Yeah. Why? Because we believe it, right? yeah. Like the word of God said, right? Yeah. Why? Because we thank God, go with the instruction, right? Yeah. That the word of God said. Yeah. Amen. Division coming folk instigate foolishness in the church. Uh -huh. Talking out both sides of their mouth. Come on. And the Bible says you can't serve two master. Either you love one or the other. Amen. Amen. Woo. It's God, an all God. long suck and don't you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And how long would God put up with a person? All the way to the grave. All the way to the end. Why? Because he want to make sure that they repented and got themselves right before God. Amen. 
Huh? As long as you're still living and you still got breath in your lungs, you can always say, Lord, I need your help. Yes. Lord, don't pass me by. Lord, don't you see what I'm going through? Huh? Lord, won't you come to my rescue? Huh? Lord, I'm weak, Lord God. Yes. Huh? I need help on this hand, Lord. Huh? Yes. Can't nobody help me, Lord. Huh? Nobody but you. Huh? Yes. But Lord, I remit this. Uh, and I say this to you uh, that I need your help. Amen. Amen. Long suffering. Mm -hmm. All that means God didn't give up on you. Amen. You can give up on yourself. Mm -hmm. Some folks throw their hands up, stop fighting, and everything. Mm -hmm. You're going to find out here in this scripture that the main thing Paul concluded thing was that he fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. Amen. This journey in serving the Lord, you got to get saved and continue to fight for your life. Amen. You got to make sure you are pleasing the Lord. Mm -hmm. However long you live, however long the Lord let you live, it is totally up to you how you serve the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm almost through. Take your time, Pastor. They're going to tell us why. Well, all long suffering doctrine. Now, why did he tell Paul, or Timothy did? Why did he tell Timothy to reprove? Why did he tell Timothy to rebuke? Why did he tell him to exalt? Huh? We're all long suffering in doctrine. Because folks will still come to church and try to instigate some kind of other doctrine in the church beside the doctrine of Jesus Christ like Amen. it should be. Amen. To teach you that you should live holy at all times. Mm -hmm. Not to instigate no error in anything that you do. You need to present your body a living sacrifice toward God and be holy Amen. in his sight. Yes. Amen. That's the doctrine of Christ. Amen. But why? Why did he tell him that? Look what Paul said to Timothy. The third verse explained the reason why he told him to reprove, to refute, to exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. The reason he told him to preach the word of God in season and out of season. Now this is the reason why and this is the state, thank God, of uh, church that you, we are going to now. Uh, churches that now in this generation. Uh, churches that we can see uh, each and every day. Uh, mm -hmm. They left from the principles uh, of the word of God. Uh, yes. They may have started off right, uh, uh -huh. but now you can see uh, and hear with your own ears uh, yes. and see with your own eyes uh, that they have left the foundation. Uh, yes. My God, when they used to preach holiness, uh, uh -huh. now they won't preach holiness. Uh, yes. They preach something in it uh, and instigate everything, uh, yes. but standing on sound doctrine. Uh, that's why come you get a chance. Uh, yes. We need a preach. Uh, yeah. Amen. Sound doctrine. Uh, every chance we get, uh, yeah. stand on the word of God. Uh, yeah. Do what thus said the Lord. Uh, yeah. Why? Because the time will come. Amen. Amen. My God. But they will not endure Amen. sound doctrine. You see why we should preach it? Amen. You see why you should value your salvation? You say, mm -hmm. live something. Amen. When you tell folks about the Lord, let them see something in you. Amen. Let them see you striving to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're going to lead them, lead them to the church. Amen. For the time will come when they will what? Not. Don't you see that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't you see it? Amen. Birds of a feather flock together. Yes. Yeah, they might be preaching Jesus, but ain't no sound doctrine in them. They're dancing to every tune of the world and doing something in it and everything in the church. Crying Jesus, but ain't living nothing. And when it comes to sound doctrine, you ain't heard nothing about the do's and the don't while you were in church. I ain't heard nothing about no sin. You got to be careful where you go. Now, church should be the safest place you should go. Mm -hmm. But now, church is one of the most dangerous places you can go to. Amen. Especially you in a church that ain't preaching sound doctrine. Amen. Amen. 